ABC4 News Sports with Wesley Ruff. BYU goes from the frying pan to the fire. After beating Tennessee on the road, the Cougars will host 23rd ranked USC Saturday at 1.30. And you can see that game live right here on ABC4. The Trojans have a freshman quarterback, Keaton Slovis, and he torched Stanford with 377 yards and three touchdown passes. He's an impressive kid, good composure. Watched him last uh, on the film and just uh, I think he, he has, yeah, he's poised and, and made some really tough throws and uh, obviously was really effective. He has some really good weapons around him, but I thought he showed some really good maturity and poise in the pocket and was able to throw the ball uh, with good timing. I was just watching the game and um, he's, a, he's a good quarterback. Uh, so it's going to be it's going to be fun. His O line is very good. Receivers are great, so uh, it'll be a good test for us. And 11th ranked Utah will play its final non-conference game this Saturday when the Utes will host Idaho State. And here's something interesting. Utah head coach Kyle Whittingham got his start at the D1 level in college coaching in Pocatello, where he spent six years as a Bengals assistant. It was an uh, uh, excellent experience for me because I was able to be the special teams coordinator the first four years and then the defense coordinator the second two years. So it was very good for my development and uh, learning. You know, I was just a young coach that didn't know, didn't know what he was doing and, and forced to learn pretty quickly. And in the irony can be so ironic department, Whittingham's first game with Idaho State was right here in Salt Lake City against the Utes. Utah quarterback Scott Mitchell torched Whittingham's defense for 511 yards of passing that day. It was our opener that very first year, 1988, I believe it was. And, and uh, I think we hung around for a quarter or two and then kind of got run out of the stadium, which you'd expect. But, but uh, I do remember that uh, it was a, you know, a pretty uh, exciting experience for me to be in a, a stadium you know, that size and a team you know, like Utah and being in that, in that environment was pretty cool. Utah beat Idaho State that day 41 to 16, one of the many losses that Whittingham was part of on that Bengal staff. He said the losing was hard, but it did not sour him on the job of coaching. You know, it was a tough uh, six years in a lot of respects and that, you know, as far as the, the wins and losses being at the top of it, but but uh, and it was it was a little bit frustrating, but but uh, I was just excited to have a job and just be in the profession. And so at that time, I was just elated to have a group of guys to coach. <laughs> Whittingham has gone on to become one of the winningest coaches in Utah history. In fact, he mm -hmm. could become the all-time winningest coach probably in the year 2021. 